Welcome to Revival Faith Center Ministries International. Join us every Sunday for Sunday school at 7.30 a.m. and Sunday service at 9.30 a.m. Doors will open at 9.15. And don't forget about Noonday Prayer Monday through Friday here at 3541 West Broward Boulevard at noon. Revival Faith Center Ministries invites you to Midweek Fuel every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in person and live stream services. Spiritual Building with Dr. Salivia Dillard, Mondays, 7 p.m. On Friday, April 12th at 7.30 p.m., Apostle Janice L. Dillard will be speaking at the Faith and Grace Supernatural Church of Deliverance in Pompano Beach. Apostle Salivia Dillard will be at the Love Yourself to Life Women's Conference in Tampa on April 19th. Save the date for the Revival Faith Center Ministries International 31st Annual Holy Convocation, August 7th through the 11th, 2024. Theme, Let Us Not Compete, But Let Us Complete. Attention all women, the 2024 Purposeful Women's Retreat will be held in Destin, Florida, July 24th through the 27th. The Revival Faith Center Ministry Choir Rehearsal, every Monday, 7 p.m. at 3541 West Broward Boulevard. If you are interested in joining the choir, please see Minister Brianna Folks, Sister Gracia Banner, or Minister Jalea Floyd. The Revival Faith Center Ministries Touch a Soul Outreach is expanding. Are you interested in joining the outreach ministry? Kindly contact Pastor Naya Johnson. Are you interested in being part of our media team? Please see Shireen or Minister Helen. And for any updates from Revival Faith Center, go to Facebook or YouTube. Take these announcements and govern yourselves accordingly. Welcome to Revival Faith. Welcome to Revival Faith Center Ministries International. Join us every Sunday for Sunday school at 7.30 a.m. and Sunday service at 9.30 a.m. Doors will open at 
And don't forget about Noonday Prayer, Monday through Friday here at 3541 West Broward Boulevard at noon. Revival Faith Center Ministries invites you to Midweek Fuel every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in person and live stream services. Spiritual Building with Dr. Solivia Dillard, Mondays, 7 p.m. On Friday, April 12th at 7.30 p.m., Apostle Janice L. Dillard will be speaking at the Faith and Grace Supernatural Church of Deliverance in Pompano Beach. Apostle Salivia Dillard will be at the Love Yourself to Life Women's Conference in Tampa on April 19th. Save the date for the Revival Faith Center Ministries International 31st Annual Holy Convocation, August 7th through the 11th, 2024. Theme, Let Us Not Compete, But Let Us Complete. Attention all women, the 2024 Purposeful Women's Retreat will be held in Destin, Florida, July 24th through the 27th. The Revival Faith Center Ministry Choir Rehearsal, every Monday, 7 p.m. at 3541 West Broward Boulevard. If you are interested in joining the choir, please see Minister Brianna Folks, Sister Gracia Banner, or Minister Jalea Floyd. The Revival Faith Center Ministries Touch a Soul Outreach is expanding. Are you interested in joining the outreach ministry? Kindly contact Pastor Naya Johnson. Are you interested in being part of our media team? Please see Shireen or Minister Helen. And for any updates from Revival Faith Center, go to Facebook or YouTube. Take these announcements and govern yourselves accordingly. Welcome to Revival Faith Center Ministries International. Join us every Sunday for Sunday School at 7.30 a.m. and Sunday Service at 9.30 a.m. Doors will open at 9.15. And don't forget about Noonday Prayer, Monday through Friday here at 3541 West Broward Boulevard at noon. Revival Faith Center Ministries invites you to Midweek Fuel every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in person and live stream services. Spiritual Building with Dr. Salivia Dillard, Mondays, 7 p.m. On Friday, April 12th at 7.30 p.m., Apostle Janice L. Dillard will be speaking at the Faith and Grace Supernatural Church of Deliverance in Pompano Beach. Apostle Salivia Dillard will be at the Love Yourself to Life Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has been praise come in and put those hands together and give God some glory. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Anybody glad to be in the house this morning? Y'all yeah. don't sound excited. I said anybody glad to be in the house this morning? Yeah. Somebody went to bed last night and was not able to wake up this morning, but God graced us. He graced us another day. 
another opportunity to give God glory and that and that alone is enough to give God praise for. Amen. Amen. Come on, just because we have the breath in our lungs, the activity of our limbs, we were able to wake up with the right mind. We had a, a food on the table, clothes on our back. Come on, those little things that goes unappreciated. God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We welcome you to the Revival Faith Center Ministries where our chief apostle is the Dr. Janice L. Dillard and our apostle Salivia Dillard serves so well. We give God praise for each and every person that thought it not robbery to come and worship with us this morning. Amen. Before we go further in service, we're going to ask our Pastor Johnson if she can come up and take us to the throne of grace. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, God. We glorify you, God. We worship you, O oh God, this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we ask that you forgive us for all of our sins now. And we ask that you forgive us for all of our transgressions, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, this service belongs to you. Father, we say have your way, God. Have your will, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We repent, O oh God, of anything that we've said or done that was not pleasing to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We say come in and have your way today, God, in the name of Jesus. Sit on us today, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we have no agenda. that We have no agenda but yours today, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we move out of the way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you now for those that are already here. Father, we pray now. Now for the safety of those that are on their way, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we give the service unto you, God. Heal, deliver, and set free, God. We thank you now for miracles, God. We thank you for signs, God. We thank you for wonders, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, look upon the voices this morning, oh God. Look upon the praise team, God. Look upon the musicians, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, look upon the teacher, the preacher this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we set our buckets out this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we have great expectation of you, God. God, have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we invite you in, oh God. We say that I'm on so kotaya. God, we came on so time on so kotaya. God, we extend the invite, oh God. And Father, we say, come in, oh God. Come in this house, God. Jesus, you're welcome, oh God. Come into this house today, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Shake a come on so kotaya. Shake us up, oh God. Jesus, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, God, that we lose ourselves, oh God, and you become first in everything, oh God, that we do in everything that we say, God, in the name of Jesus, God, give us the victory, God, not in some things, God, but give us the victory, oh God, in all things, oh God, and you get the glory, but give us the victory, you get the glory, you get the glory, you get the glory, but give us the victory, God, God, we call Another opportunity to say, God, we glorify you. 
victory. We come this morning to Shabbat you, God. We come this morning to glorify you, God. We are one in you, God. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We thank you. We glorify you. In the midst of what the situation looks like, oh God, we know that we have already won. We have already won. We have won again. Oh, Rabban Sataya, God, because of you, because we've allowed you to go. Because, God, because we have allowed you to go before us, God. And we thank you, oh God, this morning that we are free and we are free indeed. God, we're no longer bound. We're not bound in finances, God. We're not bound at all, God. We thank you. Oh, Satan, you're defeated this morning is exalted because he is the greatest and so we honor you we walk with our heads this morning God and we say thank you through it all through it all we bless your name in Jesus name we pray and it is so amen if you know you have the victory this morning clap your hands Come on and put those hands together and give God some glory. Oh, we can do better than that. I need everybody to make a joyful noise in the room. Come on. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Come on and put those hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We give God glory and we give God honor for just who he is to us. Amen. Because if he doesn't do anything else, he's already done enough. Amen. Put those hands together one more time. Hallelujah. We're going to celebrate the word this morning. And we're going to give God praise for every word that he has written for us to read. Amen. So can we write his word on the top of our hearts this morning? Oh, y'all don't sound excited. I need y'all to be excited this morning. I said, can we write his word on the tablets of our hearts? Hey, everybody, I need you to get up on your feet and give God some glory. Because we come to give God praise. We come to exalt him. We come to lift him up. We come to reverence him. Everybody, put those hands together. Come on, come on. If you see somebody sitting down, not engaging in service, I dare you to walk over to him and just start praising. Yeah. Everybody, put those hands together. Come on. So we really are. branches he who abides in me will forever be fruitful and keep cause I am the way the truth and the light no one gets to the father except that they come through me let not mercy True. Sing forsake me, forsake you, let not mercy, and sing forsake you, so we really ought to write Everybody, come on and help me groove with Jesus. Whoa. Branches, he who abides in me will forever be fruitful and keep. Cause I am 
Everybody help us sing it this morning. 
Trust in the Lord. 
for believers that say, I have the word with me. No matter where I go, his word is hidden in my heart. Come on. No matter how high, no matter how low, his word is always with me. No matter how depressed, no matter how oppressed, his word is always with me. No matter when I don't understand it, no matter when I can't see my way out, his word is always with me. His word, it rings in my ears. And even as I sleep at night, even as I go by my day, his word, it walks with me. His word, it talks with me. You know how? Because the Bible said that God is the word and the word is God. And if you say that the Lord walks with you, that means his word walks with you. If his word walks with you, that means he walks with you. Open up your mouth if you know that. with you. He kept walking with me. Even when I was far away, he never left my side. And that's enough to give God some glory. Can we take a moment and just really exalt the name of the Lord? Because I don't know about you, but I know that this week alone was meant to take me out of the game. But the devil has lost yet again. So that's enough for me to lift up my hands and for me to give God some glory. That's enough for me to open up my mouth and for me to give God some praise. That's enough for when I walk into the room, I'm able to lift everything off of me. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. If it can't separate me from his love, why would I let it separate me from a worship? Why would I let it separate me from a praise? I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. We give God some glory. I said, can we give him glory? Can we act like we in church this morning? Can we take a moment and be real believers and act like what we know we came to church for, which was to give God some glory, which was to give him some praise, which was to be on one accord. I don't know about you, but I came to lift him up. I came to lift him up. I said I came to lift him up. Sing his praises. I came to reference him. There's nothing unclear about why I came. There's nothing unclear about why I'm here. I came to praise God. I said I came to praise him. Turn to your neighbor and say, What have you come to do? That neighbor didn't talk to you. Turn up. I need you to get up. I need y'all to get up this morning. Come on, I need you to get up off your seat this morning. I, I need you, I need you to relax the seat for two seconds. And I need you to find somebody and turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what have you come to do? I dare you to respond and say, I came to lift him up. How you gonna praise him? How you gonna praise him? You're gonna lift him up. How will you reference him? How will you call him the King of Kings? How will you show that he's the Lord of Lords? What will separate you from the world? My praise gonna separate me. My worship gonna separate me. My lifestyle gonna separate me. I will bless the Lord. I will bless him on my good days. I will bless him on my bad. I will bless him when I'm up. I will bless him when I'm down. 
Cause one thing we gon' do, we gon' What you doing for the station, Teresa? We ain't gon' waste no good church music Because if it take me to happen an aneurysm to make you play You better find it. I don't know where you gotta go. I don't know what you gotta do. If you gotta take your shoes off, if you gotta move your seat, if you gotta run around, I will say thank you. Y'all ain't ready. Come on. We got a long Sunday. Communion Sunday this morning. We give God glory. Come on and put those hands together. Y'all get it later. I'm telling you now, if you don't get it, I'm going to roll. I'm, I'm telling y'all, nah. Pastor, I'm going to roll today. I'm going to roll. Because God has been too good to me. He's been too kind to me for me not to give God praise. Come on and put those hands together one more time. Woo! We're going to do protocol really quick. We're going to move real fast, y'all. I want y'all to prepare we're going to do benevolence. We're going to do tithing. We're going to do our building fund. I need you to prepare really quickly and be very swift because there is a move of God in the room. There's a wind of God that's ready to break out. And we need to be very swift so that we can encounter God. Amen. So we're going to take up our benevolence really quickly. We didn't do protocol. Wait a minute. Can we give God glory for God and God alone? All right, I don't think I'm in the right church. I see some people sitting, some people a little quiet. We're going to try it again. Because at this church, we give God all praise. We give God all glory. So can we give God praise for God and God alone? The one who woke you up, the one who started you on your way. Hallelujah. We give God glory for our covering chief apostle, the Dr. Freddie Washington and his lovely wife, Overseer Washington. We praise God for our founding chief apostle, the chief apostle Janice L. Dillard. We give God praise for our apostle Salivia Dillard. We give God praise for each and every leader in their respectable places this morning. We give God praise for Bishop Gates, Bishop Jones, Bishop Gaines, Bishop Keenan. We give God praise for each and every one of the ministerial staff in their respectable places. We thank God for every board, every team member, every administrator, every, everybody that makes up the body of Christ. Can we clap for ourselves? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now we can quickly do benevolence. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our musicians are going to play some good music, some good sewing music, so that we will feel good in the spirit, amen, to sow into our ministry. Our benevolence offering, for those that may not know, is set into place so that when we as a body come to our ministry in the time of need, that we are able to be there as a pillar, amen? Because I don't know about you, but every day in a good day, and I may need my church one day, you know, Lord. I, <laughs> so this is setting a place so that we as a family can help each other, amen? Hallelujah. As the ushers are coming up, we're going to ask one of our men of God if they can bring our tithing up.
soldier time. The Bible says to bring all the tide into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now, he will say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. And our response to the word is, at thy word, O oh Lord, I receive thy promise. Everybody put those hands together. We're going to quickly take up our building fund. Y'all see that beautiful vision board? We don't have it there just for sight. We have it there because we believe God for the vision that he has gave our leader. Amen. So this is set in place so that when you walk into our beautiful ministry, you are able to say, we accomplished the Lord's vision. Amen. Be quick, Pastor. <laughs> pastor get lost in the crowd. Be like, come on, Pastor. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take literally 60 seconds. All right, two minutes. I'm watching the time. I wish we could put it on the screens. Two minutes. I need everybody to get up on your feet so we can go greet each other and hug somebody and tell them you love them because you never know how much a hug can go a long way. Go greet somebody, somebody that you ain't talked to in a long time and say, hey, you look good. I love you and I miss you. Everybody, come on. to stand up next Sunday. Because y'all don't know, y'all ain't good with time. Well, next Sunday, we just going to call. Y'all like, y'all love the Lord. Oh, God. Y'all chief of Paul says in the room, can we make some noise for the Chief Apostle, with her beautiful self. You look so good, Pastor. You look good. <laughs> Our pastor looks good, don't she?
she are. The older you get, the more beautiful you become. Hallelujah. All right, so quickly, now that we took five minutes, because y'all was way over two. All right, we're going to quickly call up our dancers. We're going to ask our men of God if they can come to move our communion table. Our dancers are going to do their selection and immediately following. Somebody say immediately following. It's going to be time for the word. So we're going to give God praise for our apostle. Amen. Clap those hands one more time for the wild dancers.
after that, we could give him a better praise than that. Can we open up our mouths? Can we open our mouths? Come on, come on, all over the sanctuary. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Come on, come on, come on, activate with your voice. Come on. Come on, activate, activate, activate. Activate, activate. Come on, open your mouth. That means open your mouth. 